Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Monday Morning Yo-Yo. I am your host, G2 Jake. If you guys are new here, Monday Morning Yo-Yo is just a quick recap of Yo-Yo events, um, mostly focusing on what happened for G-Squared Yo-Yos last week, what we plan on doing this week. Uh, so basically G2 stuff with a little bit of other Yo-Yo stuff sprinkled in. Uh, we're going to start it up with the other yo-yo stuff this week. Um, this weekend, we went to Ohio State. Uh, was a was a nice little contest. Um, I mean, it's a little bit smaller. It was the weekend right after Nationals, so you could expect it was going to be smaller, but I thought it was still a good contest. Um, decent turnout. I think it was close to 20 people in the freestyle, um, in the 1A freestyles, which is definitely smaller than the previous year, which was... Uh, I want to say we had just over 40 because we did have prelims at Ohio State's last year. But like I said, I think it uh, was a good turnout based on having nationals the week prior. Um, anybody in this area most likely went to nationals the week prior, spent their budget, um, their time at the contest. So this Ohio contest was uh, mostly for, for, I would say, closer people all around, um, less people were willing to travel. Smaller turnout, but still good. Um, huge shout out to Kyle, I believe it was. Uh, I'm so sorry if it's not. He, however, came all the way from New York, seven hour drive, um, to stop at the G2 booth, which is awesome. He watched the video, what am I taking to Ohio State? Talked to his buddy and was like, hey, let's go. And they came out, so that was pretty awesome. Uh, last week, what did we do last week? Um, July 4th, we dropped the Star Spangled Elites. Um, those would have been these elites right here. Super nice looking. You guys should be, uh, let's see, they went out on the 5th. You guys should have had those Saturday or maybe, maybe today still. Um, so go ahead, post those up. Show a little bit of love to the G2 Yo-Yos hashtag. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the engravings. I really like them and I think you, you might as well. Um, that's what we did last week, just that one little drop. Uh, this week we might have an even smaller drop. Um, so this Saturday is Washington State. I'm gonna try and send a few yo-yos out there. Um, if I do, I'll let you guys know what I sent out. Um, but that's gonna take up some of my time if I do that. Uh, then we just have some other, other life events to handle. Uh, but if we do have a drop this week, not if we do, we do, we will have a drop this week, most likely Thursday. We've got a smaller drop of Banshees and some Elites. Uh, we have right here the First Blood. You guys have seen these. I've sent a few of these out in the mystery boxes that um, people buy on G2 Nation. And it's just a nice black with the red splash. Uh, very vibrant red. I got a dog hair stuck in my mustache. Um... Not much else to say about it. Just nice, clean, first blood splash. Uh, we also will probably drop a couple of these, which are, let's see if, oh, come on. Don't do this to us. Um, I forget what the actual name was. I did something, Sunrise, maybe. Let's see what happens. Right yeah, you can kind of see it right there. Uh, it's not quite this red, but you can see the pink to red fade. And so those pink to red fade elites will probably be dropping at the same time. We'll have a few of those. Um, I do plan to send just a couple of these out to Washington States currently. That's that's the plan. Send some to Washington States. Have some on the drop, most likely Thursday, with the first blood banshees. And uh, then we're going to ride off into the sunset for a week off. Maybe two. But for sure, for sure one week. Um, so yeah. If, you've, if you need a Banshee, and you need one, and you can't wait, or you need a Fatal Elite, and you can't wait, well, actually, I don't have that many Fatal Elites. Uh, I think this is the last one we have. So make sure you stop by the drop, most likely Thursday, uh, because we are going to be taking at least one week off, um, maybe two. Don't get too angry, okay? It's okay. I know I usually say I'm going to take a break, and I don't, but guaranteed one week off, no matter what. Um, second week is up in the air what we plan to do, but 
Yes, this has been another episode of Monday Morning Yo-Yo. I've got a little recap coming for you of uh, just a few tricks from Ohio State's um, people that stop by the booth and whatnot. So you have that to, forward, to look forward to this week on the channel. At that, thanks for stopping by, guys. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Apologies, forgot one thing I wanted to talk about, and that is the awesome Titanium Hawks. So, Titanium Hawks have all shipped from everybody that placed their order, paid their invoices before I sent out, uh, posted that listing with your emails if you hadn't paid yet. So I know one or two of you paid after I posted that. Those ones have not shipped out, but everybody else's. And other than that, just wanted to mention, I did learn next pre-order system, I'm not doing it this way. I'm not doing the week of shipping. Um, I thought it was gonna be better because instead of waiting that full week to ship them all at the end, go to the post office, drop them all off. I was just shipping out what the mailman would pick up. So like 25 packages a day throughout the whole week. And that was not best because uh, some of you guys got spoiled for the boxes, one. So even if I didn't have those boxes though, it's just not fair that if everybody pays it the same day, then some of you have to wait another week compared to what, X? So whatever. So somebody was getting them four or five days earlier than others, and that's just not fair. I thought it was better because whoever was getting the package earliest was getting it, whatever, four days earlier than if I would wait and ship them all. But I should have just waited and shipped them all later on the Saturday after you guys paid. Does that make sense? I don't even know what I'm talking about now. But next time, we're not shipping in waves like that. We're shipping them all out the same day. Uh, it might just be one or two days later so that I can drop them off at the post office. Three or four days, it just depends on what day I send the invoices out. Um, but yes, we're gonna ship them all at the same time so everybody gets them closer to the same time. And um, I think that's gonna be a better option. That was, that was all my bad. I thought about this as a different way when I was deciding how to ship them. And then afterwards, uh, based on your posts and whatnot, I realized I did that wrong. So apologies, my bad, we'll fix that next time.